some university students are changing the meaning of ethnic identity. Ashley Ellis Milan has no problem showcasing her basketball skills. She's also quick to tell people about another important part of her life. I always say that I'm biracial. I never say that I'm black because that's not who I am and that's not how I was raised. Ellis Milan says her confidence and strong mind help show people she's biracial, sometimes before they ask her. I got asked by a friend if I was, and I said that I was, and he goes, oh, I already knew that. The U.S. Census Bureau says about 7.3 million people identify themselves as multiracial. That's about 3% of the country's population. In Minnesota, there are about 84,000 multiracial people. That equals about 1.5% of the state's population. I feel like every biracial person has gone through some kind of identity crisis. A crisis that magnified for Danielle Mathias when she was one of three victims of a hate crime at the University of St. Thomas last October. Some like my peers, like uh, the minorities on campus at St. Thomas, and even my roommates, like white people, they just don't understand. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like here we are doing exactly what, like, you know, what you think they're doing to us. I'm going into teaching, and as a teacher, I'm not going to look at a kid and be like, okay, you're Mexican, so I'm going to treat you like this. Ellis Milan says in order to understand multiracial identities, people need to know there are more than two sides. You can think of this kind of as a, cra a crayon box that you just don't have two colors. You have so many of them, and when you put them together, it, it can cr create a rainbow. Some researchers believe many people pick one race because they strongly identify with one racial group. Ellis Milan and Matthias say a strong mind is the best way to ease concerns about multiracial identities.